Okay, so they've eventually moved. Shall we do? Shall we give this a try? Because this is um, a bit of an unusual opening that they've pulled out of the bag. Let's try that. Got to be conscious queen check type stuff going on. It's a different kind of move order because normally you'd see this type thing with that hanging there. It's just that he's brought the knight out before that. So they could still continue and do that. Okay, looks like we've got a deep thinker or pause. Okay, they've actually captured. Let's just capture back. Let's pause. Okay, we've got to open up the centre. Let's capture. Ooh, let's push through here now. So both bishops are now on the back developed. <laughs> so they're managing the diagonals that we've got at the moment. And we could push the pawn onto the knight. That's the fastest I've seen them move in this game. Wow, amazing. See why they're taking the time when they've done that to get the pawn. for the long pause so he wants to develop his bishop rather than me develop my bishop so also attacking this pawn just going to bring the bishop out it's a seriously long pause as I know it's a 30 minute game and you should take a long time over your moves I just get very Considering the games I've played today, <laughs> this is why this is the last one. I think I'm all computer played out. But this is the case of the, I think in one of the recent videos I mentioned about keeping that tension, getting all arty, etc. You know, and this player is doing that sort of play. Now, I didn't want to be developing his bishop when I was further over there, but I don't mind developing it now that we're in this position. So I'm actually just going to take the queen off the board. There's too much dancing going on. I think when it's when it gets to like the second type rotation, I do say to myself, well, I don't really see the point to all that dancing. So let's just uh, keep it simple now. moved let's keep it simple develop a piece attacking doesn't have to stay there there's no x-ray through to anything Good missile. Could attack the bishop. Move the bishop back. Could attack his knight. Then the bishop again. Bishop though, doesn't he? Comes here, 
fucking hell of a ship. We have to move. Take time, take time. Nice there. Don't have to leave the knight here, it's got nothing now. Could bring it back again. Then attack the bishop there. Fierce with his um, bishop. Knight could still attack there, bishop. Bishop takes, bishop takes on the earth. Taken, we're bringing the rook into the centre of the board. Rooks don't have any place in the centre of the board. So, strategically, that's a nice capture. Let's do that. Make sure it looks pretty, it goes there, pretty gonna do. Definitely going for the knight. Could bring the knight here to sit in the centre, that looks interesting. Let's attack the bishop, knights on the bishops. Go here to stop the knight from coming here. Attack for an attack. Hmm? Take, you can take back with his knight or the rook. Probably take with the rook because it's on our pawn. I think I like our bishop. Let's go for a pawn push. Knight can come here, knight can take the bishop still. Okay, so I think on this occasion, still the rook is going to be on the pawn. So we take, rook's on the pawn. Can push or we can bring the rook supporting. Mm, seems a bit lame that. first I don't think he's taking is he pushing here let's push the pawn first because I don't think he's taking I think he's coming here because then his bishop comes, 2 and one So we'll just have to leave that one alone. And he's got the poor majority in this centre here, big style. Ooh, that's a big contention. It's attacking already. So there, he's got two pieces on there. Makes for a massive attack coming here. Bishop's got the diagonal. He's not taking it just yet. the pawn. 
white ticks. Bishop takes, bishop takes, pawn takes. Then he gets this pawn, so he's going to be up two more, two pawns. E wow. An intricate web we weave. to come here Oh, surprise it took with the knight. Still going down here anyway, isn't it? Risking that. for a piece take takes
Ah, oh, blindsided. So I go there, then he goes here. But his blocks is rocking. But then he's got this pawn when I go here. Is this person on? And it's back to being plus again. <laughs> He's moving faster than he's ever moved.
finish that really just by taking the rook but it looks like the giving us the shower It's a very interesting game that was really quite tense but for the last game uh, I think that was worthy that was worthy of um, playing even though they were taking so long with the moves but <laughs> it was worthy let's have a quick look to see where so we're just taking stuff off the board attacking yeah so maybe a little bit previous with the old pawn move attacking the king um, knight there should have just hung back a little bit nice simple development wouldn't hurt anybody you know just bringing the knight here protecting that's pretty simple straightforward stuff so I got carried away with myself looking for the exchange so we're playing like a pawn down for the majority of the game but as we know the answer process does help us if we're searching for these nice positions so I'm hoping I can carry this forward into tomorrow's congress game I think this was a nice one to finish on I think it's always nice practicing being a piece down or something like that a minor piece or a pawn down and sometimes I can play and I don't even notice that I'm a piece down but I'm playing like I'm I've got like two more pieces more than the opponent so it's a good feeling to have that so it shows that we're starting we're understanding the position play it doesn't matter if they've got um, 10 million pieces on the board if they're in the wrong place then they're, they're, no, they're no good to anybody so the rooks in the centre of the board doesn't really have a place there but they're um, kind of winning here for plus four it is so I think were they and did they end up being two pawns up or something one two three four five six one two three no just one pawn I suppose so captured, captured. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. From there, so all we're doing is jostling positionally, um, and basically we're reacting to whatever the opponent's giving us. So they're giving us this position here, very dodgy. It's very sketchy indeed. But we're clawing it back. It's now plus one rather than plus four. So something's being done right. It's not the ideal position but it's not ideal for the opponent either as far as I can see but if they played it correctly they, they would have um, wiped us out it's plus two at the minute so getting the king up and out now we're just thinking that we're gonna lose these pawns here so we may as well take some of his pawns off to even out the balance a bit so we grab so it, it does even out the balance it's saying it's a draw now at this moment in time so we capture, they capture, it's minus, minus 0.4 now, so that's quite interesting. And minus 1.3. And then it's gone to plus 0.5, okay, so keep pushing. It's like uh, 0.6 there. I know you can see it in the top yourselves, it's uh, showing a draw. And didn't think it was a draw, I thought we would be able to get this pawn up even with the support of the other pawn and so yeah it's showing minus at the minute I'm just wanting to make sure yes draw depending on how they played obviously they could have gone for a draw I think they were in the driving seat um, even though we've got more pawns on the board positionally we have to sort of fight to get that so they move the king so it's draw draw and they're having to keep their rook there preventing us from so then this one move here which was actually going greedy munching for the queen i did think they were going to do something else which was ex ending up exchanging the rooks or something like that but our pawn so high up the board so yeah minus 6.8 so we grabbed and then at that point then it's all minuses because two linked pawns like this the rook really can't it can't defend against so i'm feeling fairly comfortable at this stage and could really have just taken the rook off the board here I was messing about yeah 
so 10 so I could I, once when they when they go back here I can just take this off the board I don't need to mess about with that and then I can just start moving the king up queen up but being a little bit arty but I don't want to do arty stuff tomorrow so let's get that knock that out on the head and go for the simple take it off the board push up get a queen okay so that's being a bit too hard to get in the two queens there okay looking forward to tomorrow and the congress doesn't finish until the end of may so i think we've got two more games to play this one and the next one and then i'll be doing my full report on that okay wish me luck